parents, if you have a kiddo struggling with ADHD, whether it is diagnosed or not, whether they're taking medications or not, whether it's a challenge that they've been having for a long time or a newer challenge that's just started to show up, please know that you are not alone. There are over 6 million kiddos today in the United States that have been diagnosed with ADHD and over two thirds of those are on medications. So that's over 4 million kiddos that are taking what we call schedule two narcotics or stimulants. Now, those have both long-term and short-term side effects, and they can be very damaging to other systems of the body. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna get down to the true root cause of ADHD. Now, this is going to be for you parents if you want to get your kiddo out of those struggles, but you don't wanna use those medications to do so or if you want to get your kiddo to their full potential, but maybe you don't wanna use chemicals in order to do that. And this is especially for you, mom and dad, if you want to, if you really think that your kiddo's um, ADHD can truly be turned into their superpower. Um, you love their personality, you love their drive, you love their quirkiness, you love their get up and go. And what you'll learn in this video, we refer that to that as the raging bull. Um, because what you're really gonna learn in this video is the root cause, the neurology, the chemistry, the physiology of that ADHD. Because if we know what's causing it, we know exact steps to take to get that calmed down and to get that neurology back on track. Um, no matter their age, no matter their severity, no matter how long it's been there. And I know this to be true because I've seen it in practice in my almost 13 years of practicing pediatric chiropractic, um, whether it has been in younger kids or older kids, whether it is a severe case or even nonverbal cases. Um, I'll never forget my first ADHD kiddo that I worked on. It was, I was right out of school and his mom was actually coming in to see me for headaches. I wasn't practicing then the way I am now. And just a typical chiropractor um, trying to help this mom get through some migraines. And she brought in her little boy one day and said, you know, we just got diagnosed with ADHD and we're, you know, getting tested for autism. We might be on the spectrum. Do you think chiropractic could help? And again, because I hadn't been through the training that I've been through now and I didn't really know then what I know now, um, I said, you know, I don't know, but I think it might be able to help at least a little, so let's try. Um, we started getting him adjusted and in just a couple of weeks, he was sleeping better. And in a couple more weeks, he was calmer and more relaxed when he came into the office. And in a couple more weeks, so we we're at about the two month mark, his mom came back into me and said, last night, he said, mom, I love you. And that was huge because he was nonverbal and was not able to communicate in that way ever before. And after that case, I knew that this was something big, that we were up to something big, that I was up to something big. Um, and that is why I wanted to do this video. Um, and here's the crazy part. There is no test for ADHD. There is not a blood test. There is not an x-ray. There is not an MRI scan that the medical doctors can do in order to figure out if ADHD is there. But they have still diagnosed six million kiddos with ADHD, and they have given dangerous medications to over four million kiddos with ADHD. And they've done that on the premise of two basic theories. Number one is the genetic theory, and that just basically says that um, your kiddo was born with it, they got you know, bad genes, and there's nothing we can do about it. The second theory is the chemical imbalance theory. And while this one is a little more accurate, there absolutely are chemical imbalances. Um, it basically just says that neurotransmitters like serotonin and epinephrine and um, dopamine are out of whack, they're out of balance, and ultimately your kiddo needs to be on chemicals in order to create balance uh, for the rest of their life. And there's nothing else that they can do and that um, all your kiddo will ever be able to do is take meds for the rest of their life. Um, and while yes, there absolutely is a chemical imbalance component, um, it's not the full story. It's not the root cause. And what it comes down to, what the actual root cause of your kiddo's ADHD is an, an imbalance in neurology. See, we've got two sides of the nervous system. There's the sympathetic nervous system, which is the go, 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 fight or flight protection mode. And it's the gas pedal. And when that gas pedal is stuck on, 
in kiddos that absolutely looks like hyperactivity, trouble regulating behavior and emotions, go, 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 gotta move, gotta talk, gotta touch things, that ADHD behavior. But the other side is the brake pedal. It's the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and calm and follow directions and regulate behavior and emotions. And this is how God made us. He gave us a gas pedal and we need it. And he gave us the brake pedal and we need it. And what happens in your ADHD kiddo is that that gas pedal gets stuck on. It's overstimulated and overworked. And when the gas pedal is stuck on, the brake pedal is underactive, it's understimulated, and it's not balancing. Now, what would cause this? Well, in our first few years of life, first one year, three years, five years, seven years, our brain is very plastic, it's moldable. And so when we have a lot of stress in our nervous system through, even back through to pregnancy and through labor and delivery and through birth interventions that can wreak havoc on the brainstem, um, and then other stressors and other challenges like lots of antibiotics and just other challenges through childhood, um, that actually starts to shift these kiddos' neurology. It starts to hardwire their brain, not because of genetics, but because of those stressors and toxins early in life. And when there's too much gas, there's not enough break. When your neurology is stuck in that sympathetic dominance, it cannot be on the brake pedal. Now that brings about the other theory of chemical imbalance. When the nervous system is stuck in that sympathetic fight or flight, the nervous system produces higher levels of those neurotransmitters that are associated with ADHD. So when a medical doctor says your ADHD kiddo has a chemical imbalance, Yes, that's true, but it's not the root cause. That's actually secondary because those chemicals work for the nervous system. So when the nervous system says jump, and in an ADHD kiddo, their nervous system says jump, 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 touch, 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 move, 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 talk, 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 those chemicals are going to follow. And there's, so there's actually an imbalance in the central and autonomic nervous system first, and then a chemical imbalance follows. So what we do in our office is we use neurotonal adjusting, which is simple. It is designed to be gentle and unique to your kiddo and their specific neurology. And that allows us to get direct access to that brake pedal, to stimulate that parasympathetic nervous system and get that back on track. Because when that brake pedal is on track and working properly, the gas pedal starts to calm down as well. Now ADHD can absolutely be a superpower when your kiddo's nervous system is balanced, when it is functioning, when it is, when it is properly trans referring from um, the sympathetic gas pedal to the brake pedal. They have that brain for a reason. Your kiddo is amazing and their bodies can heal and be restored. Your kiddo was designed to function. And when we get these neurologically based chiropractic adjustments in the right sequence for the right amount of time, you will absolutely see miracles happen. They will absolutely blow your mind with what their brains can accomplish. And that is our goal. So if your kiddo is struggling with ADHD and you do not wanna use medications to, um, to help them through those challenges, if you are looking for a more natural approach, for more natural drug-free action steps to get your kiddo out of that struggle and into their full potential, then you should absolutely, I highly encourage you to check out our office. Send me a message, send me um, any of your questions that might've come up through this, and please share this with a friend, with a parent, share this with your um, other social media groups that you know support people or kiddos with ADHD because this message is so important and needs to be shared. We can absolutely make an impact on all of those six million kiddos um, that are struggling with ADHD and even the adults because no matter how old they are, no matter what their severity is, no matter how long they've been struggling with ADHD, we can make great, huge, amazing, wonderful changes with their neurology when we activate their brake pedal properly, when that nervous system is balanced and can go between the gas and the brake um, in a normal and regular way with ease, the body can heal and it is just amazing the results. So, so please learn more, check out the article on our website. There should be a link in my bio. Um, learn as much as you can about this and please share this with other parents, other friends that you may, that may need to hear this message. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.